slew of shockingly racist videos making the rounds on the internet tonight. All of the videos showing students, even a parent from one local school district saying the N word and laughing. In a story you'll see on just one station, Kelly Kennedy spoke with people in the community who are now calling for change and accountability. We are not going to be showing you these videos, but in all of them, there are racial slurs used. In one video, you see several Jackson High School students, as well as a parent, laughing while these students repeatedly use the N-word. There's another image showing a Jackson High School student with a white towel on his head and text that reads, I'm in the KKK. I spoke with lots of people who tell me they are sick and tired of their community being known as a racist one. I don't think hurt is the right word. Uh, it was definitely more than hurt. I was disgusted and, and concerned for my own safety and, you know, other black kids' safety. What do we want? Justice! What do we want it now? Jackson High School students staged a protest in the cafeteria Monday following several disturbing racist videos that surfaced on social media. <laughs> A lot of people have been saying this area is unfortunately kind of known for it racist. Is. It is. It absolutely is. It's it is so bad now over there. This Jackson for you. Don't say the black word. Wow. How does it feel to see that? Uh, it's infuriating. I just, it blows my mind. Kennedy Satterfield is a senior at Jackson High School. She says she's been dealing with racism since her freshman year. This isn't the first time that we've come into contact with, you know, racial tensions, but um, it's definitely, it, it sucks a lot because you think that you're safe at school sometimes and then you see stuff like this from other students. Jackson Local School District Superintendent Chris DiLoretto called the videos reprehensible and troubling. He said the district does not tolerate discrimination of any kind, but said the district can't discipline students who made videos off of school property. But he did say students who took these videos on school property will face consequences. Satterfield met with the principal and superintendent more than once this week. She says they're looking at starting a student board to educate the school community. My phone hasn't stopped blowing up since last night. I've gotten numerous messages from many kids and even parents in support of um, me using my voice and me helping other kids use their voice to, you know, change what's going on in our school. I did reach out to the mother seen in one of these videos, but so far she has not returned my phone calls or my text messages. However, shortly after I reached out to her, someone started calling me several times from a private number demanding to know my name. Well, I guess whoever she was that was calling knows my name now. Reporting in Jackson Township, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.